In 2022, CPDE celebrated a decade of CSO solidarity on effective development cooperation advocacy and practice. Throughout the year, our platform pursued its work around effective development cooperation, bringing civil society demands to policy areas. This eventful year culminated in the high-level meeting of the Global Partnership for Effective Development Cooperation in December. Let's look back at it now. Last year, CPDE successfully conducted capacity development training in 58 countries. The topics covered were program and network management, dialogue with development partners, and advocacy. We strengthened our work in engaging the private sector in development cooperation. We achieved this through monitoring and campaign and outreach to social enterprises in 10 countries. We sustained alliances with other CSOs and CSO platforms through participative researches and global CSO forums. Our platform brought civil society perspectives to different engagements, but especially the UN High-Level Political Forum. There, we released our annual study on the voluntary national reviews. We also led an important dialogue on financing for development, most notably on the Integrated National Financing Frameworks, or the INFS. We strengthened our climate finance work and advocated for climate justice at COP27 and Stockholm Plus 50. We also proudly brought our feminist framework for development cooperation at the UN Commission on the Status of Women, among other spaces. Moreover, we continued to promote CSO enabling environment and to raise awareness on the global trend of shrinking civic spaces. We did this by establishing unities around reversing this trend, leading to a conference on building multi-stakeholder trust for CSO effectiveness in December. But our most important accomplishment was to lead the CSO delegation to the third high-level meeting of the GPEDC, where we advocated a continued commitment to effective development cooperation. Amid multiple global engagements, we made sure to consolidate our internal governance, strategy, and processes. In May, we held our first in-person all-secretariat meeting since COVID hit in Paris. Several coordination and regional meetings were also held in Africa, Latin America and the Caribbean, Asia, and Pacific regions. Finally, in December, our Global Assembly elected four new co-chairs. To know where we are and to adjust our priorities, we conducted a midterm review of our current strategic plan. We also underwent external evaluations of our program, internal control and management, and internal accountability. If you'd like to know more about these milestones, we present them in 10 short videos that we hope you'll enjoy watching. All of these were made possible by the commitment of our members and the support of our partners and allies. This year and in the next ones to come, we hope to be able to count on your continued collaboration on effective development cooperation advocacy and practice. Together, we stand for a just, sustainable, and people-centered development. One that ensures decent work, a peaceful world, and a dignified life for all. For this, we thank you and look forward to stronger partnerships.